Alright folks, so welcome to a new series on the channel that I planned on starting a long time ago, but I was not sure if anybody would want to see it or want to hear about it or want to hear my opinion on the matter, so I figured sitting there today, fuck it, I want to do it, I'm going to do it anyway, so if people don't want to watch it, fair enough, but I'm still going to upload it every Monday after every episode, or even more times a week, I don't know yet. But today is the first ever review of Dragon Ball Super episode 34 on my channel, of course, there's loads of reviews around. But we'll start off simple with the animations in this episode, or in all of Dragon Ball Super in general. Now, in my opinion, they have been really, really shitty. They are getting better, but they have been bad as fuck. I think that the bold outlines on all the characters make it look too cartoony and less anime. I feel like the brighter colours would be okay if they defined the features of the characters a lot more. I mean, Goku looks like a stick figure that I, me fucking brother could draw when he was two or three, you know? So I don't like that. I don't like that they don't put any detail into it anymore. I mean, for Christ's sake, Dragon Ball Z was fantastic. I'll put a picture up here now, comparing the two of those. Even, in my opinion, Dragon Ball, the original series, had a better art style and feel to me. It felt more like an anime. It didn't feel like a children's cartoon like this does. Now we'll move on. The story. Alright, so where we were in the story, of course it's spoilers ahead in this review. I will always do a spoiler review just because I want to talk about everything. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it and come back and watch this. But if you've seen it, buckle in and listen to what I have to say. The story so far with Champa wanting to take Earth to his universe, I feel like it's a little bit weak. I feel like there's something more going on that we don't know about yet. I feel like either Champa or Vados has something up their sleeve and is not on the level with everybody. Someone is going to deceive someone at the end of this. This can't be just a straight up tournament where there's no stakes because think about it. If Earth goes to the other universe, it's not going to change. The people of Earth won't know anything about it because it won't do anything. It won't make a difference. So I feel like this is just the start to a bigger arc. And I really hope it is. Now, onto the story of this particular episode, which was Piccolo versus Frost, I believe. I loved Frost as a character, I still do. I thought that the way he played out as a good guy was perfect. They, he's kind of a clown of Frieza in his ambition, but I think the way he portrays himself and he doesn't come across as prideful or malicious or stupid, I mean, if you think about it, Frieza was reckless because of his power. Frost is not like that. Frost is smart. He played the good guy role to get on people's sides. Let the guard down and yep, yeah, boom, you're dead. And I thought in the last episode that maybe Vados or Champa had knocked Goku out with some sort of technique. But as we learned in this one, Frost was concealing the needle which was knocking people out because he thought it was a piccolo. I'm glad they had Frost be a bit of a dick bag. I'm glad he wasn't a good guy. Although I liked the fact that there was a good Frieza in this story. I just felt like they needed a major antagonist. And Frost may be that. I think they might keep him around because he is... He's different. I think his mannerisms are too different to give up. Now, moving on to the characters in this episode in particular. This is one thing I'm going to do in every episode. The characters that are highlighted in that episode, I will talk about. And one of my biggest and best characters that I loved for a long time, since since the original Dragon Ball, was Piccolo. And I think that Piccolo is getting a shit rap in this. Since, let's say, since near the end of the Boo Saga, Piccolo has really just been there. He hasn't done anything and people are starting to underestimate him, like he said. I think they should develop Piccolo more. Piccolo is a great character. He's a great kind of sparring partner back and forth with with Vegeta, and they have the same kind of mentality. And I like that, and ironically enough, in the English show, Christmas have acted both of their, their voiceovers, but just, there's something about Piccolo that I find intriguing that I don't want them to explore. I don't wasn't just to toss him to the side like a lot of the other characters have been, like Gohan ha who has been, and he has been—he was my favorite character of all time. So I kind of hated that. But you know what? What can you do about that one? 
I also think that Bados is up to something suspicious. I don't believe that she is the same as we. She has a different demeanor altogether, so we will find out what story is with that hopefully soon. I think she may be doing something untoward, but we will find out. The episode itself was good. I'm not going to say it was shite because it was good, but they need to develop the character and the story more for hardcore fans like myself and other people to real or to watch and stay invested in. People like me are going to watch it anyway because I have Dragon Ball attached to it, but I just think they should develop it a lot more. I think that in the end of the day, they are really, really kind of messing up a lot of people's favorite program, and I think that is a stupid way to go. They're rushing the story, and I don't like it. I think this, the Dragon Ball, like the point in the tournament for what Dragon Ball's yawn, you know. Someone is going to come along and fuck something up, and I know it is, and I can't wait to see that. Because I want to see someone shake it up and break the monotony of what's going on. A straightforward tournament is going to be fun for a while, but someone needs to take the whole series by the horns and bring it in a different direction, and I hope someone does. The verdict that I'm going to give this episode, episode 34, is 7 out of 10. Now, the reason I give it a 7 is just because of the lack of character development on Piccolo's side. Not development, the lack of substance to his character. I think they just, they use characters too, for lack of a better word, they fuck them off. They don't really care unless it's Goku or Vegeta. And don't get me wrong, these guys are my favourite characters as well, but we need secondary characters like Piccolo. And we need them to be strong personalities, so they need to develop that a lot more. If you agree with me, let me know down below. And I do think that series is going to pick up. But right now, it's still in kind of a limbo phase. But please, God, the anime gods, any god around that you believe in, praise them that we make this a lot better because I do not want this to die. Dragon Ball 2016 has to keep going on. That's my opinion on it, folks. If you liked it and you share the same opinion, let me know down below. Even if you have a different opinion, if you want to tell me I'm an idiot and I'm rambling on, let me know down below. Hit that like button. And if you're new, Hit that subscribe button and I will see all you people in the next one. Bye!